Hi everyone, just recently I was asked by a student if I could um, record a video showing how the journal tool works for this subject um, this year. So this is what this video is about. Okay, so first of all, hopefully you've all found the, the information about what you need to do for your assignment um, and I've posted some videos already in this section and you can go and have a look at them. Okay. Uh, there's assistance there but this is where the journal tool is if you don't want to use the journal tool here's a word version of the the table that's in your subject outline and you can use that but i'll talk to you about the advantages of using the um, journal tool in a minute so we'll go into the journal tool i'll just re do the screen here and this is what you're going to see when you go into the tool so you need to click on the the red writing here and it'll tell you it'll come up and you'll have this table here okay and it'll have um, the, the whole table there so that will stay there for you to refer to through um, while you're putting things in you can you can um, either write freehand in your entries or you can uh, copy and paste the table out of word into your entries and I'll show you how to do both first thing I need to do is go up here and go journal create journal entry and so I do that okay now the first part of that section if you recall was and I'll, I've just got the um, uh, the word version here is the research question and the main elements okay so I'm going to call this research question uh, well let's no I better Paul call it question because I want different sections so I know what's happening now in here is where I might start working up my question and remember for, for the video's sake I'm going to use the um, question what is the experience of midwives well oh goodness I can't can't kind of spelling who deliver pre 30 week babies um, as some classes know I had a conversation with a friend the other day or a couple of weeks back and she talked about how um, when they deliver babies unexpectedly in the early, like in the late in that you know early third trimester um, or late second trimester um, of a pregnancy that um, in the unit that she works in they get uh, transferred to Sydney and she said to me that she could not sleep when when um, they were transferred once she went home um, until she knew they were safe there in, in Sydney and I thought to myself you know that is an interesting bit of research and I said to her look I'll go and find some stuff on it so you can write a policy document and she said okay I went and had a look and there was not much so this is a good research question all right um, now as you'll see in the modules and I'll see if I can open a second one over here I'm just popping into the modules to show you um, we talk this week about inductive versus deductive reasoning and as you go on you'll talk more about that in a way or you'll think more about that and quantitative and qualitative so this is my question now after doing a bit of reading I um, I think all right well I do want to I do want to do a inductive approach and qualitative now there there's some notes for me all right now remember this is it's like a draft okay so this might be your question but you've got a draft so I can then go up here and either go save as entry draft 
all right and come in here next time and fiddle with that and then I can go post entry and that will appear let me re whoops under here okay with a little sort of notebook side bit doesn't that look nice and I could make some comments on there where I say you know remember to blah 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 okay and and add that in what about if I want to use this table and just write straight into the table what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it differently this time I'm going to go create journal entry now as you can see from here I've gone in here and I've copied this just control C and I want to go across back here and I'm going to put my cursor where I want it and then I'm just going to go control V and that I put my my table in now I did try it earlier using um, the the mouse controls up here and I didn't find that the table went in so it might be useful for you to do that so I'm going to give this another name and I'm going to put do in table and then here I'm going to reflect upon um, how the question will help solve the clinical problem so so first of all as this is mine I'm just going to remember this is my my research now so not the main table I'm going to put what is the experience of midwives who deliver pre 30 week babies now we can play with this question a bit because that's probably not as tight as we could get that and that's worth thinking about so here where I'm going to think about why so it says here reflect on how the research question will help solve the clinical problem you identified so when I first started talking to this friend she was talking about how she couldn't sleep till she knew the baby was safe and alive in Sydney so first I thought it's sort of a shift work study you know that it, it was about that she'd come off a night shift and couldn't sleep until she knew the baby was safe in Sydney and then as we talked about it further what I realized is it had nothing to do with 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 night shift in particular or shifts in particular it had to do with the transfer out of rural units so that was important for me um, to think about and to have as part of whoop, out um, just as part of the understanding here if part of my thinking okay so remember this is a draft this is not you know we're not expecting that at this point remember this is week one or week two or whenever you're doing this you're not expecting this to be done by the time you submit this you want to we would want to see that this question is a bit more advanced or or that we work it um, so I might um, uh, look at go I might devise another question and play with it do midwives who deliver pre 30 week babies that need transfer to a NICU experience distress now that's a different question that needs to be answered in a different way okay so that question is quite different in terms of how we would answer that but it's still a relevant question to be asking out of what we um, found so don't throw out the baby with the bathwater so to speak keep your questions till you till you're happy with one so how else are we going to think how does the research question um, help us uh, find the answer to the query we had well 
it's going to look at experience. So when, say if we do this question, I'm just going to I'll highlight that one. So if we do this question here, because that's, we might play around the terminology, but we're going to do something a bit similar. What are we expecting to find? So we, we start thinking about the things that we might find. Um, we, we, feelings of helplessness. Now, whoops. So if we are doing a qualitative study, we don't go in thinking that, oh, we've got to ask questions about, do you feel distressed? We're going in to check the experience, but we might have these as potential things that we thought about to start with. But it's almost like the expression where you lay your troubles at the door. Okay, so you might think about what you're going to, to find. Now, what the table, come back here. So it's saying, how does it help solve the clinical problem? Well, the clinical problem that that I ended up sort of eking out from my friend and colleague was her attachment or you know how she felt about babies that were ill. So it could really be a, a comment about distress. It could really be something that we, we talk about there. Okay, so that's important. As you go on, so then you might post your entry because we've done it this week, and then next week I'm going to come in. I'm going to I'm going to look at that. Of course, I'm going to do more than that this week if possible, and I might go and have a look at the literature now and have a look at um, how I can what literature I need, what is known and what is not known about midwives' experience. And then I'm going to think about how that literature review will actually help me answer my question. Okay, so um, it should demonstrate what is known. You should be able to talk about what is sort of what seems a bit murky in the literature as what is not known. And that's what will go here. And you keep on doing that for each of the sections. Now, you might want to just put it in like this without putting it in the table just yet and that is just fine okay whatever you find easiest for you so I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you are uh, getting on with this assignment and thinking about what you might want to do um, any problems pop it up on the discussion board and I'll either make or find a resource for you okay see you later bye